I, I know you left town with Babe to get a fresh start away from him. I... No, it's nothing like that. Just promise me that you're not going anywhere. I promise. Staying right with the family that I love. This is my life. I'm not going to let go of that. <laughs> Thank you. But I mean... I mean, what about Annie? Uh, what, what if Dad... Shh, always... just stay positive. That's what I'm all about. I mean, look at us for a second here. We're the family that he loves, even if he can't show it all the time. If you believe it, it'll happen. So, what brings you to town? I have business here from time to time. I'm trying to track down uh, an elusive investment. Sometimes they have a way of getting away from you. <laughs> I have had that experience myself from time to time. Sometimes just not meant to be yours. Not this time. I mean to wrap this up and be gone by tomorrow. And I have the feeling that you may be tied up in Pine Valley for quite some time. <laughs> Business that good here, is it? Uh, uh, you, your mouth to God's ear. I couldn't agree more. Randy, I'm on your side. I know what Madison is capable of, but Frankie just saw her and he thinks we, we might be missing something. Look, we know where she is. We know where the father is. Let's just put them together and be done with this. It's not that simple. Right. What do I know? The ex-hooker. You're the cop and you're the doctor. Big experts. Hey, nobody's saying. I'm going home. To lock the door, bolt the windows, and hide in the closet. Randy. Such a drama queen. Let me guess, she heard Madison's back. We're gonna have to figure out something. Figure it out? Why is it even a debate? You have a plan? Well, we keep her father the hell away from her. So, we're off the case. Annie has decided to represent herself. Oh, God, I mean, I guess I'm not surprised. She never really trusted you. Hmm. Well, I better get started on the paperwork, removing myself as her attorney. I'll do it. Why, why don't you just go home? I've got nothing to go home to right now. I'm sorry. Hmm. Is there anything that I can do? Yeah, go home to your husband. Oh, Marissa. I'm sure you've been apprised you're no longer on Annie's case. Yeah, Liza just told me. Yeah, JR is quite pleased with it, of course. He's made his feelings uh, crystal clear. He loves you. And as you know, he's seeing things differently now. He's looking at life in a whole new way, and I think he's hoping that you are too. Family or love? You had to make that choice, didn't you? How do you mean? Well, when you and JR got together, Hayward wasn't exactly a, a fan. <laughs> so you had to choose between your father and the man you loved. No, I wasn't the one facing that choice. David was, and he made it. Well, I'm sure you did, if you were honest with yourself. But uh, my choice, too. Family or love. Well, I think that JR is hoping you'll pick them both, since it is your family that you love. The trial of Annie Chandler tomorrow, where things are not expected to go well for the defendant. In fact, many see this as a whole flock of past crimes coming home to roost.